Hello everybody and welcome to Moscow Report for February 13th, 2017. Today we'll be talking about the Storm aircraft carrier class that is under development by the Russian Navy. Let's take a look at the use of the aircraft carriers by the Soviet and Russian Navy past, present and future. During the Cold War, the Soviet Navy was focused on hunting down U.S strategic submarines and keeping an eye on the U.S. carrier groups. For that purpose, the Project 1143 was designed. It carried approximately 7 to 10 aircraft, which were mainly submarine hunting KA-25 helicopters. These helicopters allowed for underwater scan for submarines as well as dropping torpedoes. In addition, the Kiev class also could host aircraft. These were the Yak-36 and the Yak-38 fighters, which are very similar in their configuration and capability. Harrier jet fighter used by the US and the United Kingdom. And the Kiev class were the most numerous built at four ships. Now all of these ships are gone. One was sold to China and it's parked in Shenzhen. Go visit it as an amusement park. Another one was fully cut up and modified into an Indian aircraft carrier, which was delivered in 2013-2014. There was another class of non-nuclear aircraft carriers, that is the Kuznetsov and its brother, the Varyag. The Kuznetsov was moved into Russian territory and ownership after the fall of the Soviet Union, but what you're seeing here is the Liaoyang. The Liaoyang was the original Varyag, and it was sold by Ukraine at 30% completion to a Macau businessman who bought it under a pretense of turning it into a casino. Well, China picked it up from Macau and converted it into a fully functioning aircraft carrier. Russia also has one Kuznetsov class aircraft carrier, and that is the Admiral Kuznetsov, which just returned from Syria, where it participated in maneuvers and took active participation in striking at ISIS targets. Now, there was an opportunity to build a nuclear aircraft carrier of full size by the Soviet Union, and one was 20% built. Almost ready to launch, its hull was left rotting after the fall of the Soviet Union. This ship would have had a nuclear power plant and carried approximately 60 to 80 aircraft of the Su-27 and the MiG-29 modification, as well as a long-range surveillance aircraft. However, after the fall of the Soviet Union, all that was left was the hull, which sat in Ukraine for quite some time, and in the end was cut up into scrap metal and sold as... All these aircraft carriers did not have a nuclear power plant, which limits how far they can travel. Well, this is the Storm. The Storm is a new project under design by the Russian Navy. This carrier will utilize both a nuclear and non-nuclear power plant that is currently under testing on the new Russian icebreaker Arctica. In addition, it is expected to be 330 meters, that's 1,000 feet long, and carry an aircraft wing of approximately 90 aircraft, including the Su-33, the naval version of the PAC-FA naval fighter, as well as K-27 helicopters. In addition, in the configuration of Russian aircraft carriers, it will have a ski ramp however it is also expected to have a standard catapult system in addition to doubling the total aircraft carrier capacity of the current Kuznetsov class its crew will increase to four to five thousand people and it'll have the speed of approximately 30 knots finally an interesting item mentioned is that this aircraft carrier will have the capacity to operate in ice territory of the Arctic, which is an unusual feature, but if Russia is planning to project its authority into the northern regions to protect the oil reserves or the naval passages in the north, this makes total sense. So this really becomes an all-purpose, all-terrain aircraft carrier. Well, there you have it. That is the overview of the Storm aircraft carrier. This is all that we've got. More updates will be posted if I get them. And of course, what do you think are the Russian aspirations at sea? And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and a like. This is Moscow Report, signing off. Передаем сообщение ТАСС.